show the Arctic is warming rapidly at a rate two to four times faster than the global average, according to researchers. The consequences? Glaciers are melting, and that, scientists say, adds to other problems like rising sea levels and coastal erosion across the globe. But why this rapid warming is happening and how is still not totally understood. For example, how much do clouds play a role in the warming? Up until recently, little was known about the unique clouds that form over the Arctic, the result of the warm ocean water interacting with the cold Arctic air. So nobody's really flown into um, these clouds and really sampled them, and so they want to be able to predict them better. That's where Corey Wolf and this flying laboratory come in. Wolf is a project manager at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. The C-130 belongs to NCAR and the National Science Foundation. The former military transport aircraft is equipped with all sorts of high tech instruments and remote sensors. Just last month, Wolf and his crew returned from a six week mission flying the aircraft into the middle of those Arctic clouds to get a better understanding of what's going on inside them. And these instruments had everything from dropsons, which are um, sensors that are released from, a, from pretty high up and they fall down and they send back measurements of temperature, wind, pressure, humidity. So we get a full 3D view of the atmosphere that way. Data collected here will improve climate modeling for the future. Since Arctic weather impacts weather around the world by influencing how much moisture and heat is moved towards and away from the equator. The Arctic is really changing rapidly with climate change. It's a place where you can really see the impacts and the effects and really uh, study those uh, close up. The better scientists understand the weather in the Arctic now, the better they'll be able to predict it in the future. But I think there's going to be some really cool findings coming out of this. Keely Chalmers, 9 News.